Hey guys, Paul from Overkill Airsoft here, and welcome to another episode. Now today what we're going to be going through is um, really some of the game types that we play here at Overkill Airsoft. Uh, throughout all of our war videos, we've seen numerous game types that we've uh, held in the field and that we've really had fun playing. And I just wanted to share those type of game types with you. And uh, maybe you can even bring some of them to your own field and uh, where you play and uh, use them. But uh, let's get right into this, guys. Okay, so besides uh, the really basic game types like Team Deathmatch, um, Medic, uh, Team Deathmatch Extreme, um, we're going to really get into uh, the really fun um, game types that we play. Well, not fun, but really uh, more unique game types. So I can show you guys really some of the more um, strategized game types and that kind of thing. So first off is uh, Headquarters, and how that goes down is uh, one team will start at one side of the field, and the other team will start at um, the other side, so they'll just be in both uh, positions starting. And then in the field itself, there will be a spot um, where all or where some of the barriers will be. Not all of them, but there will be one section of that field uh, where the where all the barriers will be. And then once the game starts, uh, both teams will try and rush to that spot. The first team that gets there will be the defenders of the headquarters and the uh, team that doesn't get there will be the attackers. Now this is a one hit kill, um, no respawn game type. It's meant to be very fast, uh, a lot of rushing going on in this game type. If the um, attacking team rushes the attackers out, uh, or the defenders out, uh, they win. Or if the, defend or if the attacking team um, kills all of the uh, defenders, then obviously the attacking team will win. Now it's kind of different for the defending team because if the defending team kind of uh, either kills all of the attackers or really takes control of the whole field because this is a one hit kill, no respawn game type, uh, then the defenders will win that game type. So it's a really fast and exciting game type that even you guys can try in your own field. Alright guys, now the second game type here is uh, obviously Capture the Flag. Um, we we act, uh, The Overkill Airsoft team plays a lot of this. This is a really, really fun game type. <clears throat> I mean, it's uh, really fun to play. It's really, really exciting. There's a lot of intense action in this. But what it is, um, is both teams will have uh, unlimited respawns. Really, the objective is to get your flag back to your side of the field. Both flags will be placed um, on opposite sides of the field, so um, if the red team is on one side, it, the red flag will then be placed on the yellow side. Um, if the yellow team is, the, the yellow flag will be placed on the red team's side. So both teams have to try and go get their flag. Once uh, somebody gets to the flag, um, that person will be the flag bearer. Now the flag bearer cannot shoot a gun, um, he cannot, uh, all he can do is basically run. Um, if he gets hit, he must set the flag down where he got hit and go back to, you, to um, your side and then you, you can respawn back in. And then once you have accomplished getting that flag to your, to your side again, you win the game. Alright guys, so um, this next game type you guys have seen I think twice or maybe three times in some of the war videos. Uh, this is a really, really, really fun game type. It's called VIP or uh, VIP Personal Protection. Um, VIP obviously stands for Very Important Person. So you might already know what this game type will be about. So how it goes down is uh, the VIP team um, will have obviously the VIP. Uh, the VIP can choose to have a gun or if you want to change it up a little, the VIP um, uh, can be allowed not to have a gun. But the VIP in our version um, can choose to have a gun. And what happens is uh, the VIP team, there will be a half, first of all, there will be a halfway mark in between the field. And what the VIP team has to do to, to win is either get the VIP across that halfway mark, so they basically defend him uh, till that halfway mark, or the VIP team can kill the um, enemies, the basically the attacking enemies that want to shoot the VIP. Um, so those are the two ways that the VIP team can win, is either if the VIP crosses that halfway mark, or if the VIP team kills the enemies. Now the way the enemies can win, is if um, they shoot the VIP, um, if the VIP gets shot, the entire VIP team must surrender. Um, that's why it's kind of a very important person. So, um, or if the enemies kill off uh, the um, everybody else except the VIP, then obviously the VIP either must surrender or he can just uh, 
go for the go for it and uh, just try and run across the halfway mark in the field. But this is a really really intense game type. Um, you guys might have seen some footage uh, back in the winter from it, but uh, it's just really really fun, and you guys should de definitely try it out. All right, guys. So the last game type that we have here is probably the most craziest game type that we have ever made up or that we have ever brought um, from another airsoft team, and this one is called Bomb Squad. Um, now, you guys have probably seen this in a couple of the war videos. Uh, this game type is absolutely nuts. Um, it can be really, um, it can be intense or it can be really, really long, uh, prolonged wars that just last forever. But how it goes down is the bombing team will have a two hit kill. So, um, and because of that is the defending team can have all of the barriers on the field. And I'll show you a little clip of that here at the end of the video. But what the bombing team has is a two hit kill. First hit, first hit that, hit that they have, they have to go back to their side and respawn. Second hit, they're obviously out. So what their objective is, is to either kill off the entire defending team or to get this bomb inside of um, a really a certain spot in the field, which can be uh, past the halfway mark or somewhere just in the field, they have to get this bomb inside of, and then they win. So those are the two ways that the bombing team can win. The defending team obviously has all of the barriers, and um, what they do is they basically go for this guy. Uh, they just defend that spot where they have to get this bomb, and um, they just defend it off, and it just becomes a massacre, it's craziness. But the one thing that I can tell you guys that this game type is very intense, very action-packed, and you definitely want to try it out. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I really hope that you take some of these game types and really incorporate them into your Airsoft games. They can really be fun, and maybe make up some games of your own. I mean, you can really, with Airsoft, you can do, the, the possibilities are really unlimited. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but I really hope this helped you out. And um, a new tradition that we have at Overkill Airsoft is that we are now starting each game with a little uh, half bugle thing. Um, it's kind of cool, and our field is pretty big, so if, uh, to have the game start, we need something so that the other team can know that we have started, but uh, we just had this in, so maybe another idea for you guys, but I uh, hope you enjoy, guys, and uh, remember to like, comment, favorite, rate, or subscribe to our channel and help out the team. We would really, really appreciate it, guys. It would help us out a lot, so thank you again for watching, and this is Paul coming to you from Overkill Airsoft. I'll catch you guys next time.